You could take every man, woman, and child in Nebraska to the movies three times a week for the next year, and it still wouldn't equal the investment Nebraska farmers make just planting their crop. Howard County without uh, agriculture and the crops that we grow. Hard to picture central Nebraska without farmers like Tim Shear, who would buy pickups from the local car dealer, plus fertilizer and equipment. The Nebraska Corn Board estimates planting alone has an impact of $2.6 billion. Now that's just the initial investment that uh, will be spent here on Main Street and spent throughout the state. That doesn't even begin to figure the cost of water or property taxes nor does it take into account the value of the crop once it's harvested. And in Nebraska, the biggest corn consumer is cattle. Livestock is still our number one user and uh, very fortunate that we have the industry that we have here. You know, the number one cattle feeding state, you know, we took over this year and part of that's because of the benefits that we have from the byproduct from ethanol. Farmers like Shear, who raise both corn and cattle are glad to be diversified. Beef has set new record prices, but corn markets are still way down. It's not going to be a banner year as far as income and profitability, but I think we'll be able to hold things together. Hopefully the market gives us the opportunity some point in the year to market some crops and, and we take advantage of that. Shear serves on the Nebraska Corn Board, where they take a half cent from every bushel sold and try to create new opportunities. One of the things that the checkoff works on is demand and whether that's overseas uh, or whether that's right here in the United States or right here in the state, uh, that's, that's part of our job. Looks like the third year in a row with fewer acres of corn planted across the country. Still, the USDA says it looks like the sixth biggest crop in modern history. We wish you a safe planting season as you get that crop in the ground. We'll see you back here again next Sunday.